Things are about to kick up a notch for the Bison football team. North Dakota State set to begin conference play on Saturday against the Illinois State Redbirds. Head coach Tim Polisek made it clear early in his press conference this afternoon just how important this game was this weekend in just four words. The preseason is over. North Dakota State wrapping up the non-conference schedule on Saturday with a win over Towson. They sit at 3-1 and one on the year with their only loss being to the FBS Colorado Buffaloes. Coach Polisek also made it clear that their focus isn't even on Valley play as in a whole. It was emphasizing that they need to lock in on the next game only. The quest for a 1-0 week now runs through normal Illinois. We talked to the team about their mindset heading to this first Missouri Valley game. It's a one game season now. The, the cost of poker goes up a little bit, you know, and there's a lot of implications in all these games, but we are just have to maintain humility. We have to maintain a chip on our shoulder. 2024 Bison team hasn't done anything yet. Okay, except for get through a preseason, improved in a lot of areas and still a little bit of improvement to make in some others. And, and we got to go find a way to go 1-0 by one point or more. We know how tough the Missouri Valley is and the, the intensity is there. It's been there the whole year, but it's definitely ratcheted up a few, few notches for this week. The Bison going head-to-head -head with Illinois State for the first time since 2022. The Bison have won 12 consecutive matchups against Illinois State. They have a 14-2 overall record against the Redbirds. And we have a winner for last week's DJ Coulter Play of the Week as voted on by you, the viewers. We're going back to the volleyball court for this one. Cross-border battle. Moorhead hosting Shanley. Spud Libero, Kendall Lund comes diving in and out of the frame to keep it alive. And then Annie Haran finishes it with a big spike from the outside. The Spuds would go on to sweep this one in three sets. We had a pretty decent turnout for this one, and it was decided by just four votes. Ooh. That one beating uh, Kindred's Jake Starcevic's fourth down uh, touchdown pass by just four. Every votes. vote matters. Exactly. That's right. And that's the big that's the big takeaway from Not this just one. politics. Yeah. Play of but the week. The important the week. things. Yeah. Just get out and vote for play of the week. That's right. And yeah. I guess an election. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs>